I pour this in fall. And well, my soil comes alive by spring. You know, there's a secret autumn soil recipe that really changes everything. Imagine walking out to your garden in spring and finding soil so dark, soft, and alive that plants practically grow themselves. Sounds impossible? It's not. In this video from Soil and Crop Central, you'll discover a fall soil treatment that turns tired, lifeless dirt into fertile, living earth bursting with energy and microbes ready to feed your crops naturally. Forget endless fertilizers and spring struggles. This one simple fall step can change everything. Why fall is the most important time for soil revival? Autumn isn't the end of the gardening season, it's the beginning of the next one. After months of hard work, your soil is exhausted. Crops and microorganisms have drawn out the nutrients, leaving behind compacted, pale, and lifeless ground. If you leave it like that until spring, it will stay cold longer, absorb water poorly, and force your plants to fight for every bit of food. But when you treat your soil in fall, you give it time to rest, rebuild, and come back stronger. The secret isn't feeding the plants. It's feeding the soil itself. The living organisms beneath the surface need nourishment, and when you give it to them, they'll repay you with vibrant, fertile beds next spring. The Living Elixir – What Brings Soil Back to Life The solution we use at Soil & Crop Central is simple, natural, and incredibly powerful. It's not a chemical fertilizer, but a living brew made from everyday ingredients that restore the biological balance of your soil. The formula works by reintroducing beneficial bacteria, fungi, and organic compounds that transform compacted, tired dirt into breathable, fertile soil. Here's how it's made and, you know, why each ingredient really matters. Yeast, the spark that awakens life. Yeast is the foundation of this living soil activator. It's composed of microscopic fungi that act like catalysts, jumpstarting microbial activity and breaking down organic matter. Once in the soil, yeast organisms feed on sugars, releasing warmth and carbon dioxide, two things essential for soil respiration and microbial growth. For one standard batch, dissolve 100 grams of fresh baker's yeast or 10 grams of dry yeast in 10 liters of warm water at about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons of sugar to feed the yeast and activate fermentation. Within 20 to 30 minutes, you'll notice foam forming on the surface, a sign your microbes are alive and ready to work. Yeast by itself is powerful, but it consumes calcium and nitrogen from the soil, which is why it must always be combined with mineral-rich components to keep the balance right. That's where wood ash comes in. Wood ash, restoring minerals and balance. Wood ash is one of the most underrated soil enhancers nature provides. It contains a perfect blend of potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and trace elements that neutralize acidity and replenish what yeast temporarily binds during fermentation. More importantly, it sanitizes the soil naturally, helping reduce harmful fungal spores and overwintering pest larvae. Add one full cup of clean wood ash, from burned branches, leaves, or untreated firewood, to your yeast solution and mix thoroughly. Avoid ash that contains residues from plastic, treated wood, or garbage. The goal is to enrich, not contaminate, the soil. Ash doesn't just feed plants later, it rebuilds the foundation that plants depend on. It creates a mineral cushion for microbes to thrive and ensures the soil structure stays loose and airy through winter. Milk Whey, the microbial healer. Next comes Milk Whey, one of the most potent yet gentle tools for soil restoration. It contains lactic acid bacteria that repopulate the soil with beneficial microflora while suppressing harmful pathogens. If your garden has ever suffered from soil-borne diseases, this ingredient is a natural antidote. Pour one liter of natural, unsweetened milk whey into your mixture. It can be left over from making cheese or yogurt. Just make sure it's fresh and free from additives. Whey and yeast together form a synergistic partnership creating a living culture that keeps the soil active, even through the cooler months. Within a few weeks of applying this mixture, you'll notice the difference. The earth becomes darker, 
more crumbly, and gives off that fresh, earthy scent of healthy spring soil, even before winter ends. Humate, the fertility booster. Now that your solution has life and balance, it needs longevity, something to help the soil hold on to nutrients and moisture. That's where humate comes in. Derived from humic acids, humate acts as a natural collator, binding minerals into forms that soil organisms and plants can actually use. It improves structure, boosts microbial performance, and enhances the soil's ability to retain water through the dry months. Add one tablespoon of liquid humate, or, you know, just follow the package ratio if you're using a concentrated form, into the 10-liter mixture. Stir gently so that all ingredients are evenly distributed. Humati turns your solution into a soil stimulant that not only feeds microbes, but also strengthens the entire soil system. It's like a natural battery, storing energy for spring. Iodine, the gentle guardian. As a finishing touch, add 5 to 7 drops of regular pharmacy iodine per 10 liters of water. It acts as an antiseptic, destroying harmful fungi and bacteria while leaving beneficial microbes untouched. This is particularly effective after a disease-heavy season, ensuring that overwintering pathogens don't get a chance to survive. All right, let's talk about preparing and applying the mixture. Once all the components are combined, yeast, sugar, whey, ash, humate, and iodine, go ahead and mix them thoroughly. Then, let the solution sit for about two to three hours in a warm place. During this time, you'll notice microbial activity really starts to pick up, and the mixture will develop a mild, fermented aroma. That's a good sign that it's alive and active. Before you start applying, make sure to lightly moisten your soil so it isn't bone dry. This simple step helps the mixture soak in deeply instead of just running off the surface. Then, evenly pour the solution over your garden beds using a watering can or sprayer. One 10-liter batch will treat about 2 to 3 square meters of soil. If you're planning to dig your beds, do it right after watering so the solution can reach those deeper layers. But if you prefer no-dig methods, just cover the treated soil with a layer of organic mulch, things like fallen leaves, grass clippings, or straw work perfectly. The mulch helps lock in moisture and warmth, letting those microbes continue their quiet work all through fall and even part of winter. Now, the science behind this transformation is honestly pretty fascinating. What's really happening under the surface is that you're reactivating the soil's biological engine. Yeast and bacteria get busy consuming organic residues, which produces carbon dioxide and a bit of mild heat, while humic acids help stabilize nutrients. Ash brings in those essential minerals, and whey encourages beneficial microbial colonies to thrive. Together, all these elements create an underground composting system. The soil becomes more breathable and holds moisture better. Worms start to return because they find both food and shelter in this revived environment. Their tunnels improve aeration, and their castings enrich the upper layer with natural fertilizer. By the time spring rolls around, the soil isn't just ready. It's eager. Seeds germinate faster, roots spread out more easily, and plants grow stronger right from the start because they're tapping into a living ecosystem, not just a lifeless substrate. Timing and a few important tips here. You'll want to carry out this process in October, after your harvest, but before the temperature drops below plus 5 degrees Celsius. That's when microbial life is still active enough to get to work. Usually one treatment per year is plenty, but if your soil is really poor, a second light application later in the month can be helpful. Always use warm, dechlorinated water. If you're using tap water, let it sit for at least 24 hours so the chlorine can evaporate. Chlorine kills microorganisms, and you want every bit of life you can get into that solution. Also, avoid mixing this solution with fresh manure. The ammonia produced by manure fermentation can actually destroy the beneficial microbes you're trying to cultivate. Now, as for the results you can expect, by early spring, your soil will look and feel different. It'll be darker, looser, and just full of worms. You'll notice faster germination, healthier roots, and plants that stay green longer, even with less feeding.
Even during dry spells, the soil will hold moisture more effectively, so you won't have to water as often. This transformation isn't magic. It's just microbiology in action. When you nurture the invisible life beneath your feet, everything above the surface flourishes naturally. Just to wrap things up, this fall soil revival method from Soil and Crop Central is honestly one of the simplest yet most powerful ways to bring fertility back to your land. You're not just feeding your plants, you're building a living ecosystem that supports them year after year. So this season, give your soil the care it truly deserves. Pour in this living solution once, cover it with mulch, and then let nature do the rest. By spring, you'll see the difference. Thriving soil, vigorous plants, and a garden that really feels alive. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central. Leave a comment with your results and share this with fellow growers. One small step in fall can lead to an entire season of abundance, because when the soil lives, everything thrives.